Okay, so today I have hopefully a solution for a problem I've seen a lot of and a lot of you guys have asked about in my videos is how do I look in my center console when it's dark outside. Unfortunately, there isn't a light in there and stuff can easily get lost in there. It is a very large compartment and um, kind of want to go over some different options I hope will work and also what I have in there. So first off, Purell. Can never have enough of that. Next up, I have a USB micro. I have a USB-C in the back in case anybody needs one to juice up their phone or tablet. Have some glasses. I have an extra set of sunglasses in case a friend or somebody's riding with me and doesn't have one. And that is really it. Although normally I will actually put a camera right here uh, just because it's a little secure and out of the way. So we'll just kind of throw these guys back in here for now. I actually don't use the cup holders that are built in, mainly because I don't really put any cups there. Anything I need to, I can just put right up here in the higher center console or anyone in the back has their own, so. But it is very dark in there. Like, looking in right now, I can't see but the Purell bottle, and that's because it has a white lid everything else I can't see. So I went ahead and did some research, found a couple products we're gonna try out today. One being this LED nightlight. It is a rechargeable one, which I really like. And also it is motion activated. Now this one is $19.99. It is a two pack though. So if you have a Tesla friend, split them. Or if you have multiple cars, even better. Next up, we have another motion censored light. This is not rechargeable though. This does require two AAA batteries for each unit, but it is a three pack for $16.99. Currently when I bought it off Amazon, there was a dollar off coupon too. Um, I'll go ahead and put the links down in the description, but hopefully it's still there when you buy it, if this is the choice that you like. Um, so I went ahead and bought these two different ones. I really like the rechargeable aspect of this. Also the size, this is a lot thinner, whereas this is a little thicker. You can actually kind of see it just by the box. So let's go ahead and get right into these and see which one we like the best. So in the first package with the rechargeable circular one, there are two lights along with a little micro USB to charge them. Each one does come with two little blue discs that are sticky. It is magnetic, so you can actually put those wherever you want. And I don't know if that's gonna be strong enough to hold it, I guess we'll see. You can do a manual mode while wow, it's really bright and you can actually adjust the brightness. I think you can only adjust the brightness in manual mode though. Oh wow. Not coming on right now in auto because it does have a light sensor. So obviously if it senses light, it's not gonna come on. But then in the middle is the motion sensor. So ideally I wanted to see if I could somehow attach these to the top here or somewhere inside that would light it up. Feeling around in here though, trying to find a spot we could attach these. I'm actually thinking maybe the side might be the best bet because there is a little bar right here. Unfortunately, I thought this door was open underneath, but apparently it is not because, yeah, the door isn't. So you can't attach it to the underside of the door. Feeling around in here, there is a spot back in the very back that might work. So I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to put one of these little pucks right here. Uh, it's got a 3M tape on it, so we can just peel that. We're gonna put it all the way in the back, and then I'll try to see if I can sneak a camera down there, or to at least take a picture, so you guys can see exactly where I kind of stuck it. Okay, so we got that peeled off right there. And way back in here, there's a little flat part. Let me see if I can find it again, there it is. We're just gonna stick that right on there. And then let's see if we can't take a photo of that. And the photo looks good. So obviously you can see, <laughs> kind of, Purell bottle kind of stole the show there. But you can see the top of that isn't very flat. So obviously when we put this in there, it's a little tricky to get to. It is actually holding on there. Oh, that's cool. I was really hoping this option would work because it is definitely thinner than the other one. Now I'll go ahead and take another photo so that you can see exactly how it's looking. But um, you can see exactly where it's mounted. And now I can actually see everything in there. Okay, so the light is off. I'm gonna go ahead and close the door. Hopefully that doesn't activate it. Because we don't want a bunch of false activations. That's not what we're going for here. Okay, so opening and closing the door doesn't activate it. Now if I put my hand in here, oh my God, beautiful. I can see everything now. I mean, if you really wanted to, you could actually put this second one right next to it. But I actually think that would be counterintuitive because if one turned on before the other, 
it will sense the light and then not turn on. So I actually don't do that. So this other one does come in a three pack here. So let's go ahead and unbox this real quick. Each one comes in its own little box in here. Okay, and in each little box, you have this right here. Um, along with this little magnetic strip that goes on the back there. This does actually have a lot more hold to it though, so this one might actually be a better option. I don't know, I'm excited to see though. So excited. So let me go ahead and get some AAA batteries and we'll be right back. Five minutes later. Okay, so back to the car. We have some batteries to put in this guy. Uh, these are AAA batteries. Unfortunately, all my rechargeable ones are being used. So I have to use some non-rechargeable batteries, which I hate. I mean, I drive a Tesla, come on, I like rechargeable batteries. So my advice, if you're using this one, buy some rechargeable batteries. It'll probably be, oh Jesus. It'll probably be good in the long run. Wow, that's bright. So the only downside with this one is there is no auto, there's no other button at all. So like, it's on, it's on. It is only motion activated, which is what this little bump right here is. That's like it's little motion activated thing. Let me undo this so we can actually see and talk about this one. Um, so that little bump right there, that's its motion activation sensor. So it does stick down a considerable amount more so. Here you can see the thickness difference. Um, the bodies are about the same, but then this one you do have that big thing on. So there is a difference. So if you're wanting something that's super slim, obviously go for the puck. But we're gonna try this out. I, I bought it, I'm on as well. So we're gonna go ahead and remove the puck, which just turned on, hey, when I grabbed it out. I think this one we're gonna attach on the other side. It is a lot bigger of a 3M strip. But that being said, did you hear that? It does seem like it would really hold on a lot better if you're launching your car and stuff than the puck. The puck just, I really like this design because it's so, so thin. I'm just afraid it just wouldn't hold on that well. So that is one thing to consider with this. But let's go ahead and find a spot here It'd just be so nice if the whole back part was flat, but unfortunately it isn't. I think I'm gonna have to go along this other side to be able to mount this. I am gonna mount this one on the opposite side of the puck. I did take the puck out though because with two lights it could get confused. But also, this one right here, the long one, is not light activated. It is strictly motion activated. As you can see, it's coming on right here. Whereas this one, won't come on if it senses light. I think that might be a reason why it's a little bit more expensive because there's an extra sensor. So let's go ahead and stick this one up where I think it will work. Oh, it just stuck to my finger. Really push it. Okay. So now let me go ahead and take a picture. So yeah, there you can see this one is, is actually really out of the way. You can see the blue puck for the circle one. I'll go ahead and put that back in take another picture so you guys can actually see what the difference is and impact is if, I mean, if you stack a lot of stuff in there, you might not be able to use the light anyway. So now we're using just the second option, which is a three pack for $16.99. It is motion activated only, not light activated. Okay, so opening and closing the door doesn't seem to turn it on, which is a good thing. Now, if I put my hand, perfect. Okay. Okay, so hopefully that helps you guys a lot. This is a common question I get asked all the time. And I really like love the style of the puck, but my money's gonna be on the long strip. One, it is a little cheaper, which I love a good bargain. However, I really think that magnetic strip on the light bar will actually do a lot better than the little puck on this guy. Cause like, I, I just, I don't see this as being strong enough to protect it and hold it when you're launching the car, doing any hard accelerations. Whereas the light strip, it'll hold. So I really think I'm gonna go ahead and stick with the light strip. So hopefully you guys have a takeaway from that. Let me know which option you prefer and I'll go ahead and put all the links in the description. Let me know which one you buy. If you have this problem, maybe you don't. Although I can tell you right now, I can't see anything back there. Put my hand back there, boom, I have a light. I can see everything. And for the price, it's just a no brainer. Get in with three Tesla friends and that drops your price to like, six bucks a piece. Not even, actually it's more like five bucks if they still have the dollar off coupon. But hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. 
If you are looking for a Tesla, feel free to use our website, teslainventory.com. And if you are ordering a new or inventory Tesla, feel free to use our referral code. It's down in the description below or at the top of our website. Using it will actually get you free unlimited supercharging for the life you own your Tesla, which is an awesome perk. And using a referral code is currently the only way to get free supercharging. But that's it for this one. Definitely let me know down in the comment section below if there's a problem you want addressed in your Tesla and I will do my best to find a good solution that is also very budget friendly, that works. Besides that, definitely thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Go ahead and click here to subscribe, here for some other videos, and I'll see you in the next one.